And first tonight, a massive manhunt underway a couple hours north of Houston in Leon County, now moving into its second night. Convicted killer Gonzalo Lopez stabbing a guard yesterday, crashing a prison bus and escaping now on foot somewhere near Centerville, which is near our Interstate 45 and Highway 7. And that's where Fox 26's Matthew Seedorf has been live all day and is live tonight with the latest on the search. Matthew. Well, Kaylin Jonathan, as you mentioned, it's now going into night number two. Many people that live out here just anxious for this to end. Authorities in East Texas urging people to stay inside and lock their doors. He is a dangerous person. For more than 24 hours, convicted killer 46 year old Gonzalo Lopez has been on the run. We have every reason to believe that he's still back here in Leon County somewhere off of Highway 7, but who knows? On a bus from Gatesville to Huntsville with 15 other prisoners Thursday, Lopez managed to break free from restraints and cut through a security gate to access the driver. Police say he stabbed the driver in the hand and chest, crashing the bus near a field on Highway 7. The last we saw of Gonzalo Lopez, he was running out across a cow pasture north of Highway 7, wearing a white prison outfit, white shirt, white pants. We're at the main intersection in Centerville. State police are going through every car here trying to find Lopez. We're locked and loaded. I mean, seriously, it's not. I mean, that's who we are. I mean, we, we protect our neighbors and, you know, we're good. Centerville Independent School District canceling classes Friday as a precaution. Lopez, a convicted murderer for killing a man with a pickaxe in 2005. I get a lot of questions throughout the day if they caught him and all that, and it's just crazy. Everybody's pretty much armed and ready to go. Because it's a very quiet town. You very seldom see any, any kind of problems like this. Helicopters, horses, and dogs joining the massive manhunt. Several agencies looking for Lopez. The public doesn't need to be dealing with this guy. Let us deal with him. Authorities believe Lopez could be getting desperate tomorrow. Temperatures here in East Texas could reach close to 100 degrees. If you have any information that leads to his recapture, you could earn a reward of more than $20,000. We're live in East Texas tonight. Matthew Cedor, Fox 26 News.